Hi, welcome to the Farmer's Voice. We're on the shoreline of Lake Taupo talking to Alyssa Cooper about their farming operation. Alyssa, what's your farm made up of? Um, we've got a lamb fattening operation here um, and a swim and tail herd we run. And a great diversification scheme. What's that? Um, yeah, that's craft beer and this is Lake Man. And, oh, this is just crazy. Let's go and see what makes these two tick. So um, yeah, we've got a, uh, a basically a finishing farm where we finish 10,000 lambs a year, uh, which we buy in, and yeah, kill cool, obviously, and then we've got a herd of uh, 180 simmental cows that we've also got, um, and then on top of that we've got a, uh, a brewery, Lake Man Brewery. James, there's been a lot of publicity about farming and water quality. You're using the water that's directly under your farm to make an award-winning beer. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, obviously, because we're capped and, and uh, with, with the Lake Taupo catchment rules, um, we, we, we just felt that it was uh, something, a rather turning a, positive, a negative into a positive, basically, and now we're using that water to brew award-winning beers with, yeah. It's actually amazing water. Um, we've, we get, it actually gets tested every six months to make sure it is all in, in check. And uh, yeah, we had a guy here that uh, basically came and tested the water and he said, um, and showed him the test results. And he said, look, this is what uh, BP and McDonald's want to use uh, for their water to make the coffee with, because it's so consistent, yeah. It's nice to hear, but you've got some good staff as well, haven't you? We've got um, two guys full-time in the brewery. Um, and they're both Taupo boys. Um, one started on the bottling line about three years ago, just in boxing the beer, and now he's our head brewer, and he's doing a fantastic job. And he came to us uh, to uh, as a technician, and um, yeah, so he's grown from there into the head brewer now. He's actually currently doing a diploma in brewing um, with the IBD in England. I oh mean, it's lucky that we've got the brewery on the on the farm. That's one of the other things that we liked about it is that it was on the farm, so we could, um, you know, yeah, at least come home for lunch and see the kids, especially during the school holidays and, and things like that. Uh, I mean, passionate about farming, I love it. Uh, I think it's getting out on the farm and bringing kids up on the farm. Uh, but at the moment, uh, we're just driving the brewery to, to get it to a good a good space. Yeah. yeah. Farmer's Voice, brought to you by PGG Rights and Livestock.